It is the Toyota FJ Cruiser from Fujimi Models, a part of their No Glue and No Paint series of kits, and it is today's What's in the Box. Hey guys, welcome to What's in the Box, and today it is the Toyota FJ Cruiser from Fujimi Models that we are taking a look at. This is going to be part of their No Glue and No Paint series of kits, which means out of the box you can get a semi-close accurate representation of the subject. This is going to be just like the Suzuki Hustler Mazda Flare they released last year that we take, that we looked at, which basically means all the important parts are molded in the import in the correct colors or semi-correct colors or close to the correct color. So you really do not have to use any paint or any glue to complete the model out of the box. This is going to be a new tooled kit. Just got released uh, within the last month and a half. Fujimi did three variations of the molded in body color white as you can see here, a black and a yellow. This is going to be uh, covering the later model years of the FJ Cruiser out until it went out of production I believe. So this starts somewhere around 2007 or 2008 if I'm remembering my research correctly. It just all depends on what year they switched to those wheels is what I have narrowed it down to. And I could be completely wrong but that's what I Okay, that's what my determination was. So I think with that, let's jump in, jump into it and see what is in the box. Let's get started and take a look at the body that you can see. A lot of pieces missing. There's no roof. There's no hood. Bumpers are missing. All that is separate. We're going to take a look at the rest of the body parts that make this kit. First up will be the tree that has the roof piece on it. And the piece the tree that includes the hood and part of the rear gate, the rear tailgate, hatch, and more body pieces to look at. And you have your front and rear bumper pieces and some lower uh, rocker panel pieces there. Moving right along here, interior uh, bits here. You only get uh, a choice for left hand, or excuse me, for right hand drive. This will be a non-US version of the kit. And you have your roof rack pieces there. And moving right along, more parts to look at. So we have uh, suspension pieces here on this tree. And more parts. There's a lot of parts in this kit. Then you have your uh, two piece spare tire, separate side window trim. I kind of like that. It's kind of neat. Um, it looks like it's it broken there. It's kind of neat though. The window trim is separate, painted black if you want. No, don't have to worry about masking. I like that. And now the uh, some of the interior parts. There you have the interior bucket. There is some um, interior door panel detail. It's minimal. And once again, you can see Fujimi loves to do the molded into the interior bucket seats, lower seat halves. I don't know why they do this. It's so irritating. They have looks like to be very big <laughs> tread pattern. I don't know if that's scale. I don't know if that it looks scale. I'm gonna have to pull up and look and see how out of scale that tread pattern is, or is it actually accurate? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research. And finally, for the black molded in black parts tree, we have the uh, chassis piece and some more running gear piece brakes and springs. Moving on to the parts that are molded in uh, gray, which is supposed to be a silver or a silver, what are you going to call it? I guess silver. And you have that parts tree there, with your exhaust pipe. And one more piece. Uh, this is going to contain basically body parts that will be in a 
silver or aluminum, whatever it is, actually in the rear vehicle. And last but not least, the wheels. Keeping things moving, rolling right along, and now we'll take a look at the tires. Uh, they're basically going to be uh, no-name blank sidewall tires. There's a tread pattern there. And last for the actual parts, all the molded in and clear parts, all the transparent parts here. First we'll start with the, there was the actual clear, clear part straight, your windshield, and it looks to be the front, pass the front door windows, the door windows, as well as other lights, parent, orange, Red tree molded in smoke windows for all the rear, rear windows, side windows. And finally, we are down to the decals and sticker sheet. So, first, we'll take a look at this is going to be your window trim sheet, the sticker sheet. So, as you can see there, you have your choice of corresponding accent stickers depending on what exterior color you you using so white obviously yellow and black so I'm wondering I'm guessing that means that each interior exterior color that it came in had matching interior colors so that's gonna be kind of tricky if you if you decided not do it in one of the three colors that it comes in to do some research research on that as well or just use the black and call it a day so that is that sheet they usually have a bunch you have grill decals uh, white de or stickers like stickers 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 you will have to use this sheet for some of the stuff and last but not least they do include an actual decal sheet as well but as you can see there's not a lot of um, this is mainly license plate decals and some markings badging and stuff that is gonna wrap it up for this uh, What's in the box? Look for the FJ Cruiser from Fujimi. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.